fabulous artists. Welcome back to another episode of Art with Miss Nelson. So I thought it would be fun if we did something a little bit different today. Instead of showing you an art activity, I'm going to show you a new art material that you get to make to use to make your own kind of art. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool sidewalk paint. So this is going to be very similar to sidewalk chalk. Instead of using um, it like a drawing tool, we're actually going to be making it into like a liquid so that we can go ahead and paint with it instead of drawing on our sidewalks. So we are going to need a couple different things you may already have in your kitchen to do this project. Let me show you what those are so we can go ahead and get started. So the materials you're going to need for this project are a mixing bowl, some water, some cornstarch, a measuring cup or two, something to mix with like a spatula, something to hold our paint, whether that be a small cup or some cupcake tins like I have over there, and a paintbrush. Some optional materials are if you have some food coloring, if you wanted to add color to your chalk paints, or if you don't have food coloring, you could also use tempera paints. I'm not going to add any color to mine, but keep in mind that you can, and I will tell you when you can add those in when we get started. So the first step is you're going to want to measure out equal parts water and cornstarch. So what I did is I measured out a fourth of a cup of water and a fourth of a cup of cornstarch so that I will have in the end about a half a cup of paint to use. The second step is you're going to put your cornstarch and your water into your mixing bowl. And really make sure you get all of it in there. And with your mixing spoon, you're going to mix it up so that there are no lumps. So after you mix your cornstarch and water together, you want to make sure that there are absolutely no lumps. You might have to mix it a little bit longer than you might originally think. It should look like milk. That's how you know you're doing it right. Now if you're someone who wanted to add some color to your sidewalk paint, you could add a little um, couple drops of food coloring or some tempera paints. I don't think I'm going to add any like I told you before, so I am ready for the next step. So the next step is to either take your muffin tins and put them into a cupcake or muffin pan so that it's a little bit stable and pour your mixture in. This would be really good to use if you have multiple different colors. I don't have that though, so I'm just going to pour this back into my measuring cup. And now we're ready to take this outside with our paintbrush and start working on some beautiful sidewalk art. So here I am in my driveway starting to make some really fun chalk art. So one thing I noticed when I was doing this is the paint doesn't really show up at first. What I did is I did two layers of each of the things that I was drawing and when it dries in a couple minutes or so it'll be a lot darker so don't be worried if that starts to happen to you now you can draw a whole bunch of different things some things i drew in this video were a heart and a smiley face so this is what it's going to look like right when you first paint with it so this is not when it is dried yet 
And here's what it looks like when it's completely dry. Another idea that you could do is you could write a positive message to one of your essential workers that may stop by your house, like I did for my mail carrier. Well, I hope you had fun making some really awesome artwork outside with our sidewalk paint that we made today. If you would like to share your art with me, go ahead and email me right here. And I will see you next time. Bye!